He said, you know, you're ready to work. You're ready to be a Panther. I said, of course. I grew up a Panthers fan. Um, honestly, that's just a real experience. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, definitely feels good. Legacy-wise, you know, kind of just uh, cemented myself in the history of this draft class. And, you know, I know this class is going to be special, so uh, really it's exciting. Man, it's crazy. Uh, every year I try and get Christian McCaffrey on my fantasy team. He's always gone by one, two, or three. Um, so the fact that I'll be playing with him, you know, hopefully I'll be able to get him this year. But it's really just exciting more than anything. Uh, someone who loves to play the game, violent and physical, just just leaves his, his heart out on the field every time he's just on the field. Um, I'm going to do everything I can to be the best person and player I can be on off the field. I'm going to give Caroline everything I got. Mm. Advice, don't get a quarterback first round. I see people do it. I see people do it every year. I see people do it every year. You got to go running back or receiver, depending on what pick you have. Those, you know, those are the money makers, especially in the PPR league. And you got to go from there. So that's what I say. What's your biggest motivation? What's your That's a good question. I feel like that kind of that kind of that question kind of goes into my why. Oh, I feel like you know the reason I kind of play this game is kind of I just always had that little kid in me who just every time I put the pads on just loves playing. Um, I started playing tackle football in the third grade, and I just love every second of it. Um, and I feel like every time I put the pads on, I'm kind of honoring that little kid in me who just, you know, just loves strapping up the helmet and going on the field. So I feel like my motivation is kind of myself and kind of just honoring that kid in me. <clears throat> That's my name. <clears throat> Make sure I get it right. <clears throat> Ekam Afuna, Patrick Ikwanu, and I also go by Eki. And a certain version of uh, my first name is Ekam. Mm. Yes, sir. I'm sure I, I think I'm somewhere uh, down the line. Um, I don't know yet, but honestly, I just want to show a little bit of Nigerian heritage on the suit. Um, obviously, my dad, you know, wore, wore some traditional and, you know, obviously my mom looks stunning today. So, honestly, it was, it was just great having, you know, everyone out there being able to celebrate this moment with them. So, I got a shout out, you know, Adonis Jennings, you know, he made my suit. Um, I told him, you know, about the inspiration I wanted to have and how I wanted to honor Nigeria, and I feel like you really just put it together uh, real nice for me. So, got to shout out Adonis Jennings for sure. Uh, well, I mean, the motto I live by, NC State, is kind of like the motto of NC State, is hard, tough together. Um, you know, playing hard each and every, each and every play, um, being tough mentally and physically tough as well, and being together, you know, having a connectedness around your team. Uh, so those are kind of the three pillars that I kind of want to stand, you know, be as an NFL player. You know, obviously I want to work hard, play as hard as I can be. That's always been, you know, part of me, part of my game. Um, you know, I want to be tough, mentally, physically tough, emotionally tough, being able to handle all sorts of adversity coming my way. And I want to be together. You know, I want to build a chemistry with, uh, you know, the guys in the locker room and really just kind of find my role on the team. Well, my mom cried uh, first. She cried. Uh, I, I knew she was going to, but she said she wasn't. I don't know why she was. She was lying. But no, nah, yeah, my mom, my mom cried the second I picked the phone up. I mean, honestly, it was just like surreal. Like honestly, just being able to come home and you know rep North Carolina once again, and uh, you know rep Coach uh, uh, Mr. David Tepper and you know Coach Rule and everybody put that faith in put that faith in me. Um, I was you know going to do everything I can just to show you know the Panthers that they went wrong in choosing me and that you know I'm, I'm the right man for the job. Mm, yeah, I need some jollof rice for sure, goat meat, all that stuff. So it's going to be a big plate of that waiting for me in Carolina, so I'm excited. Um, but, yeah, you know, it means a lot to me. Um, you know, I feel like the work I put in, you know, like I said, you know, my effort would not be in vain. The work I put in is going to be a reward for me at the end of the day. So as long as I keep working, um, you know, my, my biggest goal, obviously, you know, is winning a Super Bowl ring, being a champion. Um, I feel like that's the pinnacle of the NFL, and that's, you know, that's, that's the goals and that I want, I want to reach as well. Well, if I had a dose one prop, I had to say this Ublo watch right here. Uh, you know, the spirit of the big man watch. Got to shout out Ublo for hooking me up. Uh, if I had an endorse one product, it had to be Ublo. Mm. 
man, I just appreciate it, and I appreciate all the love and support. Um, you know, I appreciate that community, um, and I just, you know, I just gonna do everything I can to live up to, to the expectations, and you know, really just, you know, be the best Panther I can be. Thank you.